welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about why I don't thin out my strawberry patch to renew my strawberries. Strawberries are labor intensive plant to grow, so anyone who's growing strawberries do know this. However, I've learned of a method that would not only renew a strawberry patch, but does not require no thinning. No need to thin out my strawberry patch to get rid of the older vegetation. In late fall, when plants go dormant, I cover my entire strawberry patch with wood chips. The older plants and unperforming plants under the wood chips die back and become compost and fertilizing, feeding the plants. When you don't have to thin out your strawberry patch to get rid of older, non-productive plants, you can make room for younger and more bountiful strawberry plants. Plus, the wood chips on top of the strawberries will also make compost tea as it rains and snows during the uh, cold season. In the spring, only the young, healthy strawberry plants are able to push through the wood chips, thereby renovating my strawberry bed. I have. I've never had to uh, weed, and thus far my subsequent plants have maintained good fruit production. So what I'm gonna do right now is I wanna go ahead and put the uh, wood chips on top of my strawberry patch. And I do this every year. My strawberry patch is actually six years old. And I've never had to thin this patch out. So, I have now put wood chips over this patch. So I'm just gonna spread out these wood chips over the patch. Keep in mind, I've been doing, I've been practicing this every year. And if you look at the photo above, you will see how rich and healthy my strawberry patch is. The wood chips makes my strawberry patch and the soil underneath it very nutrient rich. I'm spreading the wood chips out This is probably the fifth layer of wood chips I've spread over my strawberries. As the winter months progress, the strawberries will continue to die back. And therefore, the wood chips would create compost tea, but those old wood chips, excuse me, the older strawberry vegetation that dies back will compost into the, back, into the patch and all the young strawberry shoots will shoot up in the spring. So now you have a natural composting going on in your strawberry bed. Again, this is aged wood chips. It's not fresh wood chips. So there's no nitrogen issues. I know a lot of people feel that that's an issue, but remember, this patch has maintained itself for six years in this little area here and it's healthy. If you look at my um, picture above, you will see how progressive it is. The, it's, the fruits are prolific. And I love this practice. 
and it's been fun just growing strawberries without having to thin. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the like button.